Hi guys, welcome to another video. My name is Becca and I am here with my uh, Magical Readathon Christmas at Hogwarts TBR. So I have done the Magical Readathon, uh, the Owls edition, the Newts edition, and now the Christmas at Hogwarts edition. Um, or round, whatever you want to call it. I'm like, wow. Um, I really enjoy doing these. These are created and hosted by uh, G over at Book Roast. So I will link her channel down below as well as the announcement video for this, which explains how this all works. Um, because <laughs> there is like a map that you have to follow and there's um, different paths that you can take. And I don't have the map, and I don't have a printer or anything that I can like show you how it works, but I will link her video down below so you can see that. I'm just going to tell you the path that I am following. I didn't have, like, I, I didn't write all of the different paths that you could take or anything like that because, well, I didn't really have a lot of room to write it and I was just not, I, I could have tried to replicate it, but I really suck at that. And yeah, I'm just going to tell you the path that I am taking and the books that I am reading for each prompt in that path. Um, the Christmas at Hogwarts uh, readathon lasts, or it starts on the 17th, which is this Monday. I'm filming this on the 15th. So yeah, um, it starts on Monday, the 17th, and goes all the way until Wednesday, the 26th. It was, I think, originally just going to be a week long, but then she's like, we're extending it to three days for Christmas. So, I, again, I'll link it down below. She explains all of it. Um, and yeah, we start at the same spot. We meet up in the middle, um, all at the same spot, and then really the goal is to attend the Christmas feast. If you can get, uh, pass all of the, uh, how do I say it, uh, if you can make your way through everything, complete all of it, then you can attend the Christmas feast. Okay. Uh, I, you guys should know that this is a Harry Potter, uh, inspired readathon. All of her, uh, readathons are Harry, uh, Harry Potter inspired, starting with the owls, the newts, and so on. Um, so yeah. Let's, let's get to the books that I, uh, plan on reading, uh, that week and a half. I am still currently, um, uh, in the Smutathon readathon, um, or reading for Smutathon. I still have two days left of that, because I am filming pretty early on Saturday, and I still have today and tomorrow. So, don't know what I'm going to finish for tomorrow, especially since I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, have all day tomorrow, so I might have to finish it pretty early. We'll see. But the first prompt where everybody starts is to finish your coursework. Uh, it's pretty much just finish what you're currently reading, which is what I'm having the issue with. Because um, I'm planning on finishing what I'm currently reading for Smutathon tomorrow morning, hopefully. Um, and I don't want those to uh, continue on. Though there is one that I know for sure I'm not going to get to because, well, there's just no way I have no time. And that's The Proposal by Jasmine Guillory. Now, if I to start this tomorrow and like tomorrow night or sometime and then just continue reading it uh, into Monday and this could be my finish my coursework um, for that prompt this could work if I do decide to do that I have others uh -huh. um, I have three others that need to go back to the library this one it's not a video with me if I don't drop a book right It's literally not a video unless I unless I drop a book. Okay, so like this one, this one needs to go back uh, sometime this month, 
I don't know exactly when, uh, but these also have to go back this month. Uh, the only thing um, worse than me is you by Lily Anderson, uh, Broken Beautiful Hearts by Cami Garcia, and Mirage by Samaya Dowd. Dowd, I don't know. So I don't know really which one I want to read. So I'm thinking maybe I will read a chapter of one of these tomorrow, or of all of these tomorrow, and see if I like the, or if I like one of them and I want to continue on. Now, these aren't the only four that I'm considering because these three were also calling to me. These don't have to go back right away, so I don't necessarily know if I really want to go into these right now because I, I do have like another month with all of these at least. But Empress of All Seasons by Amiko Jean, I have literally been thinking nonstop about picking this up. Um, for, Amuse for Amuse of Fire by uh, Heidi Heilig, I have not read a Heidi Heilig book though, I, ha I do own um, The Girl From Everywhere, is that what it's called? I, I don't even know. Mm. Of course, they're not going to put the list of books. I think it's what it's called. Um, yeah, The Girl From Everywhere. There we go. Um, so I do own that, but this one looked really good, and it's new, and I got it from the library, so we'll see. I want to pick that up. And then I also have Damsel by, uh, Alana K. Arnold. This is a dragon, um, this is a book about dragons. There's dragons in it, some, you know. So it's like, this one is, like, got, like, Kitsune, or, no, the yokai. There's, uh, like... Yeah, they're yokai, which, like, I think they, I think they're half, like, animal, I think that's what it is, or half monster. It sounds kind of good. <laughs> Dragons. And then this one was just, uh, I think it's, oh, it's a, a girl who can manipulate puppets, I think, and she, she binds, uh, the spirits, she binds wandering spirits to the puppets, which sounds kind of good. This one's kind of thick, though, so I don't know if I would like to use that one. These are kind of small, but, I mean, again, <clears throat> these all have to go back. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do for this. I'm telling you, tomorrow, it's going to, I have, like, so the problem with tomorrow, which is why I, I don't know if I can continue Samadathon, is because I have to work for a few hours, uh, like, in the middle of the day, which really sucks. Um, I have to take back some books that have to go back, and some of them are what I'm currently reading for Samadathon. So I'm trying to finish those tomorrow morning so I can take them back tomorrow afternoon but and I also have to go shopping looking for stuff tomorrow uh, for for Christmas so it's like I literally have no time whatsoever at all to 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 continue reading for Spotathon <sighs> like it's all just like now coming at me like oh wait no, yeah, there's no time. And I, I don't know. So I have to literally do my video in the morning before I go to work. Go to work. Go shopping, because the shops that I'm going to are literally right next door to my workplace. So it's not like, but it still it'll take a chunk of time, because I don't know exactly what I'm getting yet. So I'm looking. And then, um, then go to the library to return the books so yeah I have to finish all of my books little like really early in the morning tomorrow so that's why I know for sure I'm not getting to this um and I think another one because I'm currently reading th three and only two count for small and the other one doesn't but I was currently reading it anyway um, but one I'm, like, not really that far into, so I think I'm gonna have to put it down for now. So, yeah. Okay, that got way out of hand. Um, way off topic. So, okay, 
that was number one. Uh, number one was to finish what you're currently reading. I'll know that tomorrow what I will start reading. And then I'll continue that into Monday and yeah. It's good. Um, the second, uh, so there was a couple things you could have done. I chose uh, to take the route with, uh, to help Hagrid decorate. Um, so that's the next uh, path, that's the path I took, that's the next step. And the prompt for that is to read a book with gold detailing. Um, the only one I really have, and remember like all the books I'm trying to read are from the library. I'm trying not to read any books that aren't from the library, though I've already kind of did that. Not too much though, so I, I'm i doing pretty good, so I'm trying to stick with it, with this, so yeah. But yeah, the only one I have is Bring Me the Hearts by Sarah Wolf. Uh, like you can see the gold, kind of. So I, I'm choosing this one. I really wanted to read this. I've heard kind of good things about it. I really don't know. I know it's about a girl who lost her heart to a witch, I think. And the only way to get it back is to, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Is, uh, the only way to, uh, to get her heart back is to, um, take the prince's heart and exchange her for her own, so. Yeah. That one, uh, is my book for that prompt. Number three, uh, that's where we all meet up in the middle and we visit, uh, the three broomsticks to enjoy malt, what is it, malt cider or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't write it down. Bad me. Um, but that prompt is to read a book that uh, you think you could read in just one day. The shortest book I have is The Loneliest Girl in the Universe. I almost said The Loneliest Girl in Cold Town. So it's The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, which is by Holly Black, but this one is The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. This is seems pretty short. It's a sci-fi, you know I'm not the greatest of sci-fi, but this one sounded pretty good. And it's got literally 303 pages. And it looks pretty short. Like, look at these chapters. They're so short. And when chapters are that short, I read it pretty quick. So, I am really hoping that I can read this in just one day. I have to find a day that I'm off and I could just binge read it. Um, I do have another book that I could do it, I could use for this prompt, but it's not from the library. I went out and bought it and I don't want to use it, though I do really want to read it on Christmas, which is the day before the readathon ends. I don't know. Maybe I could do that, but I really don't want to. I really want to try and read this one. Um, wow, this glare is really bad. Uh, but yeah, I really want to try and read this. Um, I really do want to read this, so I really want to try for that one. <sighs> Number four, there are like three paths you could take, um, like depending on which one, or yeah, there are like three different paths you could take. I chose to attend, uh, the Yule Ball because, well. I like the prompt, um, and uh, that's a book you've been, the prompt is a book you've been preparing to read, so it could be a new release you've been like really waiting for, uh, just a book that you've been kind of like hyping up that you've been like really wanting to read, uh, it could be a next in the series that you've been reading, uh, like books in a series to prepare for this one, um, but I mean I just chose A Blade So Black by L.L. Uh, McKinney because this is, this is, uh, compared, well, yeah, it's compared to, like, Buffy and Al, well, this is an Alice in Wonderland retelling that is supposed to have, like, Buffy elements. Okay. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of Alice in Wonderland, but I do like some retellings, and I might really like this. And, I mean, if it, I mean, look, she she looks badass, and she looks like she could definitely be a kick-ass, you know, main character, just like Buffy, so. 
We'll see. I really, really want to try and read this. I have been really, um, and like, ever since I heard about it, I have been kind of hyping it up in my head just because it has hints of Buffy. And I'm just like, look, anything compared to Buffy, I want to pick up no matter what. Um, so this is definitely a book I could choose for that. I have other ones I could choose for it too. <sighs> Where is it? Um, of course now I can't find it. Where are you? I mean, this one works. I've been really hyping that up in my head. Um, and this one works too. Uh, it's thick, but I've been like mentally preparing myself for it. So that could work. But for now, A Blade So Black will work. And then the last prompt, the fifth and final reading prompt, is, um, uh, what's it called? I chose to, uh, visit, oh, what's it called? Visit the Owlery. I can't, I couldn't read my own handwriting. <laughs> uh, visit the Owlery and give Hedwig a treat. That was the, uh, prompt, uh, the path I took and the prompt for that is to uh, read a book with an animal on the cover or in a title somewhere and I've been like really preparing myself to read this you guys know how badly I wanted to read this and I was like this is the only one that works though actually damsel could work right no actually wait I don't see a dragon I can't work it doesn't have a dragon in the title and it doesn't it only shows its tail on the cover but it's fine, because I've been really wanting to read this, and I was going to choose this for any of them. Seriously, I, like, this really worked for the Yule Ball one as well, the one I've been preparing to read, because I really wanted to read this. And that is Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. It's got fox. It's got, like, a fox emblem. I mean, I guess that works, right? I don't know, but I just really, really want to read this. It's got, like, I literally get Dragon Ball Z vibes from it. It's about this dragon that comes, like, every thousand years or whatever. Um, and you can summon it using uh, a scroll. The scroll is, like, split in half or something like that, like, split into parts. And now you have to go out and find these parts in order to summon the dragon and be granted a wish. I mean, come on. Literally Dragon Ball Z vibes. I mean, it's Shenron right there. I love Shenron so much. So, yeah. I really, really, really want to read this. I have been dying to just, like, pick this up. So it's gonna happen. It's definitely gotta happen this week. For sure. So that is my, um, my TBR for, uh, the Magical Readathon Christmas at Hogwarts edition. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know I kind of went off on a tangent in there somewhere, but it happens. It just happens. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again with another. Bye. Happy reading.